Close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to steady your mind right with the breath. And breathe with a sense of well-being. Breathe whatever way feels good and refreshing for the body. This is a very easy and harmless way to find pleasure. And this is an important principle. Most people look for pleasures in life and they don't care about the harm that's done. They just want to take what they want. This is the way society becomes a mess. But people start thinking about the consequences of the different ways they look for happiness. They begin to realize that the Buddha was right. The wisest way to find happiness is through being generous, being virtuous, and through meditating. Because that way your happiness doesn't have to take anything away from anyone else. And you become a stronger and a better person as a result. When you're generous, you gain, the other person gains. You gain in the state of mind that you develop as you're generous, a much more spacious state of mind, a wealthy state of mind, because it's the state of mind that says, I have more than enough, I can share. People with lots of money but who can't share it at all are very poor, because all they think is, not enough, not enough, not enough. But when you're generous, you realize there is more than enough. That creates a great state of mind, spacious state of mind. With virtue, it's similar. There's nobody that you've harmed. And so it's like the whole world is your family. If there are people you've harmed, then they're going to want to get back at you, and that creates a division. So you don't do any harm. And then when you meditate, of course, this is purely happiness that comes from within. It doesn't require that you take anything away from anyone else at all. At the same time, you develop good qualities of mind that you can then share with others. You're more mindful, you're more alert, have more goodwill for people around you. So this is the wise way to find happiness. And this is the way that finds hap a way of finding happiness that creates harmony in society. If everybody were generous, virtuous, and meditating, there would be very few problems. There wouldn't be the problems that come when people are trying to grab what they want just because they want it, or to hurt people they want just because they want to hurt somebody. That wouldn't happen. So we can't control all of society, but at least we can make a start right here in the way that we find happiness, in a way that's harmless, in a way that develops good qualities in the mind. And so it's something we should keep on doing every day, every day. We're doing it today because it's a special day, but it's something we do every day, because we want to find happiness in a wise way every day as well.